Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 7 to 15. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. In our highly verbal culture, sometimes we can speak many words without really saying anything. And I believe this was also true during the time of Jesus. Oftentimes, wordiness is a mechanism that attempts to cover up or distract us from discomfort and unease. An example of this can be seen when interacting with a group of people we are not too familiar with. Our defensiveness is high, and whenever there is an awkward silence, there is always someone who says something to break the ice. It is as if we are using our words to protect ourselves rather than trying to connect. On the flip side, when we are with those whom we feel a deep bond, breaks in the conversation pose no discomfort, and when words are used, they carry with it much meaning and depth. It is because our hearts are open and at ease, and this also applies during our bonding moments with God, otherwise known as prayer. If our hearts are constrained and our walls up, the quality of our prayer is just that, babble, just a one-sided conversation with very little substance. As Jesus said, God knows all our needs before we even utter a word, so the best way to connect with God is through our hearts, and the level of communication with God is very much contingent upon how open our hearts are. So despite whatever frustrations, concerns, and fear we have, let us have faith to lay all that down at Christ's feet and truly connect with our hearts open and unhindered. It is through this disposition that the Holy Spirit works, opening up our lives to miracles and true joy. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and prayerful day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.